have we found the rarest Jaguar police vehicle in the UK? Let's find out. Oh, I like it. Old school. It's got fake wood. It's a proper Jaguar. Is it chipped? Is it remapped? Mmm, baby. That is soft to touch. Let's meet the man who owns this fantastic ultra rare Jaguar. It's Joseph again. Come on, Joseph. Hello, How are you ben. doing? I'm very well, thank you. Proper gentleman's handshake. Thank that you. I love it. Old school. Right. Tell me about this Jag. This is one of only two ever That's by Jaguar. Right. Yep, yep. One's Bamberg. One's Jam Sandwich. You've got the Bamberg. Where's the Jam Sandwich? Nobody actually knows. It is. It has survived. It is around, but we've never seen a photograph of it. We no one knows know where, where it's it gone. Is. No. Not so, if, what do you know the registration? T eight zero two BRP. So T eight zero two BRP. If you've got that, let us know. Put it in the comments below. So this Jag rear wheel drive, three litre V six, two hundred and forty brake horsepower. Around about. So not sixty. Is I'm going to say this seven seconds with a top speed of one hundred and forty mile an hour. That's now good. that is not one hundred percent really fast. But what people don't realise is this weighs a lot, doesn't it? She does, yes. This weighs nearly two tonnes as it sits, where the Volvos weigh roughly 1,500, 1,600 kilos. So you've got to have something under the bonnet, some mm, under the bonnet. That's quite right. So I'm going to ask you now, Joseph, is it chipped? Is it remapped? Is there something under the bonnet that's been done? Has it got a turbo, supercharger? Please, please, please tell me what's under the bonnet and have you done anything to it? I can't tell you that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Just can't do it. Any reason why you're not telling me? No. Right, okay, <laughs> thank you. So these were given to 30 out of 43 police forces around the UK. They used to come for vehicle testing. So they come to people like us for traffic. We'd test them all around the UK. We'd let them know what they think. Uh, and then this particular one got smashed up. Who smashed it up? I think, oh, I forgot. It was a Devizes, wasn't it? It was driver, tra yeah, yeah. driver training. They crashed it by Swindon. Yeah. It got smashed up. It got fixed, put back on road, and then it went into, is it Jaguar Trust or something like that? Yes, or? Jaguar Daimler Heritage Trust. Jaguar Daimler Heritage. So just come down here, Mike, have a look at the vehicle. It is proper what you'd expect a Jag to be like inside. It's got fake wood. It's got, I'm, you're gonna say it's real wood, aren't you? It's got fake wood, it's a proper Jaguar. So one thing I always do when I meet someone like Joseph and I see the cars, I do a criminal test. I normally call it a shitbag test, but because Joseph's a, a gentleman, I'm going to call it a criminal test. I can't get in, Joseph. What have you done? What have you done? Oh, there you go. <laughs> so apart from it having a sticky door handle, um, it looks really comfy. It looks like my mum's couch. Come and have a look at this. Look at that. Mmm, baby. That is soft to touch. That's not had a lot of wear in the back of there, has it? So, for a criminal test, let's get in. Oh, oh, I tell you what, I could go to sleep in this bad boy. It is absolutely luxury, is this? Obviously for 90s luxury, 1999. Uh, middle armrest, seats are extremely comfy, great headrest. Um, yeah, as luxury goes, I like it, 9.5 out of 10. If you're ever gonna get locked up, try and get locked up in an S-type, really rare, one of one Jaguar. Uh, you can't go wrong. So for all you criminals out there. Right, so Joseph, come round to the back, show us what you've got in back. So one thing I am going to notice, it's very faded. It is. And some of the graphics look extremely worn. Can you tell me why? Well, all the graphics that are on uh, the car are the original 25 years of age graphics, so they're very faded, but we're going we're gonna to keep them like that. So rather than basically strip it all down, pimp the car up and make it look like a brand new car yeah, because yeah. it's one of one basically that's now right. and you can't find the other. Yeah. To keep it as original as possible, that's what you want to be doing now. It is, yeah. You don't want to be throwing money at something when you keep it as original as possible. That's why the graphics are like this, so please no mourning at home. So, pop the boot. Are these, is this your kit or is this, uh, is this stolen? It is quite stolen, all donated, <laughs> so to speak, yeah. This is stuff that when we do, uh, when we take all the cars on display, yeah. there's a sleeping bag in there, why I don't know. Um, and these are just some um, spare overcoats that are very nice ex Staffordshire Bobby, who was serving during the time of the Jaguar, donated right. because they're age related to the car. Yeah, see? so everything in the car is for the car. For the car. It's all age related. But as we were just saying about the um, Volvo we've just done with saloon cars, 
the very hard to get the gear in the back. We've had saloon BMWs. Yeah. It's quite hard to throw all the cones in and stuff like that. And that's the only thing I don't like about them. But apart from that, um, biggest style built. The only thing I've noticed, you've got no LEDs in your boot line yeah. as well. They're just on there. Oh, they're in back window. Yeah. Oh, you've got blue ones though as yeah. well, haven't you? Yeah. Do they turn to red? Just blue. Just blue. It's letting me, it's letting me down. Oh, she has got real, real red tail lamps then. All right. You keep telling yourself I'll that. keep telling you. <laughs> Right, shall we jump in and have a look? Yep. Old school. <laughs> Bloody hell, I haven't seen one of them. Is that charged up? No, it's not. Right, we're in the car, we're in the S-Type Jag. Um, first thing I can say is old money. Comes across as a very old man car, doesn't it? It's a Jaguar, it is lovely, but you can tell it's a Jag. Uh, well, technically it's half Ford as well, isn't it? But if you're looking down at it, this, Mike, if you can look at these here, this is completely different to what we normally see. These are your old school lights. So rather than having all your different strobes as, as what you used to have on your other one and your full 909, these are all individually put, which we had beforehand. This will come down. This used to be what's called channel six um, for your pursuit commentary. So under there, that's gonna be your radio under there. So channel six, you had a VHF and you had something else, didn't you? Do you know about this? So this is where your old school phone comes in you push to talk with that there. So that's when you see Bobby's in the 80s, uh, PC stamp, Graham Cole. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember him, don't you? Yeah, yeah. So this as well, this is Vascar. Um, this is how we used to get your speed. So it'd be distance, speed and time, and you'd be clocking it over a certain amount of time and it'd give you what speed you're going at a certain miles an hour. Uh, for a certain distance and it's taking you this much but you've got to do it through static points. Um, I never liked Vascar, I thought it were hard, hard work but when you are going fast it'll give you an accurate reading now of how fast you're going as well. But apart from that it's just this is what I class as a basic setup is this. Um, the one thing I'm going to show you now is we, do, we, we used to have these but you don't have these anymore that is your old school breath test device. So years ago I'd stop you, I'd say right Joseph when we last drink this is what old Bobby's used to do, used to do that and then flick it over. Yeah, baby. Yeah, yeah. Tubes are in back there. And what you say is, when was the last time you had it? I, I won't get your tube out. They used to have a, a, a little um, little plastic nugget in there. Break your tube out, clip it in at the top there, put it on. And I'd say, right, breathe in. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. And it'd go, obviously, zero, nothing. Pass is acceptable. One, you might be 30 micrograms in 100 milliliters breath and obviously fail is red. Uh, these are what I got brought up on, these are what I trained with, and it's very, very rare you see something like that now on all lion breath test machines. So that's just brought it back, thank mm -hmm. you very much. Mm -hmm. So what I need to know now, uh, is that, are we all right to have a drive and see what yeah. see what this baby handle's like? No problem, all. Right, let's take it out on the road and see what handle's like. First impressions are, it's very grounded. It's very stable and down to the floor. Oh, I like it. It's only done 70,000 miles on a 99 on the T Reg, um, which for these cars isn't a lot. Uh, seats are comfy, steering wheel feels a little bit thin. It's got a lot of play in it as well, which is to be expected for an old car. As for grunt under the bonnet, um, it feels quite tasty at the moment. Just in third gear now. It's got, it's got a lot of grunt behind it. Um, you can tell it's an old, old car, you can tell it feels like an old manny car. Um, I think that's why obviously Joseph loves it. Joseph's a bit like a distinguished gentleman, isn't he? Um, it's very British. Very British, very archetypal British gentleman, which is lovely. We don't see that nowadays. Like I just said, I'm 48 and I'm just like a 10 year old schoolboy daughter. Gearbox is nice and tight, which I like. Clutch is good. So first gear. Second gear. Oh yes, absolutely fantastic. You can tell it's a V6 straight away. Pork that it's got. It's done. There's no body roll on it whatsoever. Foot down again. Nice V6 sound. Tight gearbox. I could pursue in this all day long. The only thing that it's lacking is seat bolsters. It doesn't seem to have any gripping tight seats, so it feels like the upper part of your body is rolling around in the seat a lot, which isn't uh, isn't good for high speed pursuits. Uh, but apart from that, yeah, really dynamic. I like it, I like it a lot. For a drivability factor, you definitely got an eight out of 10, easy. It's, uh, it feels like a brand new car underneath. So this to me now is the rarest Jaguar police car in the UK today. 
Uh, I bet you cannot find another one because no one knows where the other one is. Oh, only thing is, yeah, very heavy on the steering at low gear, but as we said before, the T5s are exactly the same. So that's it from me. Have we found the rarest Jaguar police car in the UK? I think we have. Unless you know another one like this, this is it. Stay tuned for more videos like this and we'll see you next time.